Just minutes after a seventh juror was selected today in the criminal trial of former President Trump downtown, he headed uptown to address a different kind of crime. CBS 2's Ali Bauman live outside the bodega where he spoke in Hamilton Heights. Ali. Christine Donald Trump was invited here today by the Bodega Association to discuss crime that they say is putting bodega and deli workers at risk. Trump told them he wants law and order when he came here straight from the courthouse as a defendant in his own criminal trial. Dozens of people lined the streets of Upper Manhattan Tuesday as former President Donald Trump waved his way into a bodega on West 139th Street, where inside he met with its owner and several other bodega workers. We need more public safety, and I really support that anyone who come to support uh, their public safety, we really appreciate it. Tuesday, the judge swore in the first seven jurors in this case, four men and three women, with jobs ranging from corporate attorney to teacher to software engineer. They were selected after several others were dismissed, including Kara McGee. Honestly, after seeing the other jurors read the questionnaire, I actually do believe that he can get an impartial jury in Manhattan. After eight hours in court and about five minutes in the bodega, Trump maintained his innocence. There's no crime. You know where the crime is? In the bodegas, where they come and rob them every week. This is the same bodega where two years ago, worker Jose Alba was charged with murdering a man behind the counter. At the time, Alba told us in an exclusive interview that he was acting in self-defense. After public outcry and further investigation, District Attorney Alvin Bragg dropped the charges against him. Alvin Bragg does nothing. He goes after guys like Trump who did nothing wrong. A spokesman for the DA said in part that Bragg has worked hand in hand with the NYPD to drive down overall crime in Manhattan, including double digit decreases in homicides and shootings since he took office. After shaking hands and speaking to the press for 15 minutes in Hamilton Heights, Trump left the crowds of local supporters and opponents. I think he did the right thing by coming to support Alba. He actually showed that he even cares for the little man. He wants to say stuff about, you know, a democratic city and crime is rampant and why are they chasing after Trump? The reason Trump's being prosecuted is because of his own actions. Now, Jose Alba was not at the meeting. He no longer works at this bodega. And Trump also said here today that the New York case is forcing him to campaign locally and that he believes he has a shot of winning New York in November. We're live in Hamilton Heights. Ali Bauman, CBS 2 News. Ali, thank you. On our website, you can find more information, including the full questionnaire being filled out by prospective jurors. That and more is at CBSNewYork.com.